Hey guys, welcome to this first video about Procore. Uh, what we wanted to give you today was a good understanding of the Procore interface through the desktop. And so uh, typically you receive an email that says set up your account. Um, after you've done uh, the account setup, come here um, to the Procore login screen and go ahead and log in. Okay, so you're logged in. Um, and what we see right here, this is the company page. And so this will show you all the projects that you've been added to. Um, specifically here we're working with the San Augustine projects um, and so what you'll notice is you have the name of the project the project number address and all kinds of good information and so um, some stuff that you might need to know is this project number um, it says Texas so that's the state it's in um, and then it says right here 17 so that's the year it was started in and then finally we have which project it is so um, Texas 1701 was the first project we decided to do in Texas that year um, this information can be useful if you need to plug it into your GPS or navigate to the correct place. Um, this is where you can find that information. So let's go ahead and jump into an actual project. Okay, so now that we're actually in our project, I wanted to point out a few things here on the home screen. Uh, the first one being uh, the project message. And so right now, this is really basic project message. It just says scope of work 2018, and that we are hoping to build a house for Diane in 2018. And so this can change, this can look um, different for all of your, all of your work sites. Um, but the nice part about it is uh, your construction coordinator or partnership coordinator can give you very basic information that you might need right here. The second thing I wanted to talk about was project links. This is a new feature from Procore that allows you to link um, anything on the internet, uh, whether it's a web page or a document or an app, um, and put it here. So this is really useful because they are, there aren't a lot of integrations um, into Procore, and this is kind of one way, kind of a shortcut to get it. So this one right here is a Google Doc that I've uploaded. We can just click it here, and this will actually send us into a Google Doc. And what's great about this um, is that uh, very quickly you can get access to a document that you didn't have before. So go ahead and always check down in the project links for extra um, information. The next part I wanted to point out was the recently changed. So scroll down here and you can see the recently changed items. Um, so this is great if you're logging on, haven't been on in a while, you can see, okay, what has been uploaded and who has it been uploaded by? So we have some RFIs from Robin and Azad, um, and then we also have some drawing revisions and some emails. So if you wanted to, you could click right into these, um, but this would keep you up to date on, on kind of the newest things that have changed. A few other features are the uh, project address. If you need to know uh, where to go, this is a great place to find it. Um, the other one is the project weather. Uh, this can be kind of cool if it's working properly. It just gives you the weather. So, you know, if you're worried about rain, just quick check here um, and you can see uh, what the forecast is. It can also give you um, like a 10 day forecast or seven day forecast, which is pretty cool. And lastly, I just wanted to go over this toolbox right here. So up here you have the toolbox um, and then you have the favorites. So um, if you want to add a favorite, you just go right here and star it and then it'll pop up in your favorites. So some of the key tabs that you might need here are the documents, the drawings, the RFIs, the photos, and maybe the punch lists. Um, and depending on how big your screen is, you can fit five or six of these. So this is the way that you can navigate um, Procore is just by clicking up here and going to documents, for example. Um, or you can go up here and go to your favorites. This is a little bit quicker. And you can say, hey, uh, I'm gonna go to the drawings. So the last thing that I wanted to show you was subscribing. And so this is a really great feature because it can keep you up to date um, for your project. And so up here, um, you'll see a little checkbox that says subscribe. When you click this, every time there's a change to the plans, you will be emailed. Um, and this is really great if you're out in the field um, working on our projects and uh, your construction coordinator changes the plans or does an update to the drawings. You really wanna know that so that you can be working off the most up-to-date drawings. Uh, sometimes they might forget to send you an email or give you a call and say the plans are done. So this is the best way to do that. What's great about this is you can do it with documents, you can do it with photos, um, and you can do it with a few other um, uh, tools within Procore that allow you to keep up to date on every single project. The only thing that's bad about it is that you have to go in and do it for every single project. So if you have a lot of projects, that could be really tough. So as you can see here, I'm subscribed to the photos. I'm subscribed to the drawings and I'm also subscribed to the documents. What's different about the documents is that you actually have to go in and track a folder. So this is a little bit different because you can't just track the main folder. You have to track each individual folder, which is kind of annoying. So hopefully they'll change that feature soon.
All right, and the last thing I wanted to go over is this bar up here. So this bar is kind of I call it the quick navigation bar. Um, is that you can get to all of your projects without going back to the home screen. And so what's nice is you can search projects. You can say, okay, I want to look at the Colorado projects. And if you just type in the CO17, it'll bring up all the project names um, and the project numbers. And so this is a really great way to quickly search projects. Like if you just want to get to the name, you can say John or Joe or whoever it is and they'll pop up right here um, and so that's a really great feature because it allows you to quickly get um, from project to project um, without going back to the home screen and that's it guys um, thanks for watching and hopefully you learned a little bit more about the desktop version of Procore thanks for watching our video um, go ahead and hit the subscribe button so you can get updated on all our newest videos also go ahead and click the links below so you can uh, see our social media profiles as well as our website